University of Tennessee as a graduate assistant. I made $250 a month. So if you think you were not getting enough money, I can share that with you. I coached in a situation where in high school we played six-player basketball. Now you men here in Michigan probably never seen that, have you? You play the body court, three on three, one basketball. I always said, I didn't understand that game. Why didn't you just take two balls, play at each end, and score? <laughs> so yeah, Tech, been at Memphis State, went to Florida, went to Auburn. I watched her, I wanted to hire her. So I brought her for an interview. Two days later, at the end of the interview, I said, Mickey, I want to know if you can bring in the talent at Tennessee to help us take our program to another level to win a national championship. We've been to six final fours, we've never won one. She said, that's not the question. I'll get you the players, but do you have what it takes to win it? Now that was pretty bold, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't know whether to put her on the airplane or hire her immediately. So I hired her immediately. Our first recruiting trip was to Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut, where we watched the women's AAU Nationals. She said, you have four days to watch players and tell me the one player you think you have to have to win a national title. We already had Bridget Gordon, who was a great player for us, an Olympian, All-American. She said, you've got a good news, but get, get the one player and tell me. At the end of four days, I told her, young lady named Tanya Edwards, Flint, Michigan. That's who I want. She said, okay. I said, well, we've never, we've never called Tanya. We've never made the first contact, letter, phone, nothing. Well, we signed Tanya Edwards. And at the end of that year, she was the most valuable player when we won the national championship, our first, in Austin, Texas. You win with people. And that is very, very important. Not only in putting a staff together. So for those of you who are in college, and I'm just curious, how many of you are at the college level? Many? Most of you in high school? Well, if you're in high school, let me make this suggestion. Emphasize to your players how important it is to be a good person before you're a good player. To be a good person. Secondly is organization. We spend a lot of time just in getting organized before we ever take the practice floor. Before we ever have a team meeting. Because we want